Last time we saw how we can soften crystallized honey to be able to pour it. Now we are going to turn this into creamed honey. Letztes Mal habe ich euch gezeigt, wie ich den Honig verflüssige. Habe den abgefüllt in den Hobok und mittlerweile sind vier Tage vergangen. Welcome back to the honey kitchen. When natural honey crystallizes, which it always does sooner or later, big crystals form, giving the honey a grainy texture. Creamed honey crystallizes with very small crystals and stays smooth and creamy rather than granulated. I filled the honey tank, that was four days ago, and now the honey has settled and the little bubbles of air have risen to the top. We will remove this foam-like layer. We then add a starter or seed honey and stir it for a few days. Finally, we can fill the jars. And now we skim off the top layer. This honey cannot be sold, but it's good enough to be eaten at home. Good. Now, here I have a jar of hard, crystallized seed honey. I shall melt it to make it runny. At the moment it is set hard or crystallized, and we must warm it gently by standing the jar in warm water. So now the honey is nice and runny. Still thick, but it runs off the spoon. That's how we need it. Genau so brauche ich ihn. Und jetzt gebe ich den Impfhonig einfach rein hier. Now we simply tip that into the liquid honey. These starter crystals speed up the crystallizing process for the whole tank. Zum Rühren benutze ich einen gegenläufigen Propeller, der sorgt dafür, dass keine Luft in den Honig eingeschlagen wird. For stirring, I use a double propeller which doesn't beat air into the honey. The stirrer fits nicely in the tank and then we attach a drill which is only used for this purpose, not for carpentry, etc. So, die Kristalle müssen jetzt gleichmäßig im ganzen Topf verteilt werden und die sorgen jetzt dafür, dass... The crystals are now mixed into the whole tank and they cause the whole tank to crystallize evenly and become creamy in texture. We will stir the honey twice a day for the next three or four days until it has a pearly shimmer. Then at last it can be filled into the jars. Das ist der Tag 2. This is day two. Das ist jetzt Tag drei. Und der Honig sieht aus, als ob ich ihn abfüllen kann. Noch einmal durchgerührt und dann kommt er ins Glas. This is day three and it looks as if it's ready for the jars. We'll stir it once more. Very good. We'll leave that there. The honey goes into the jars. These are jars from the German Beekeeping Society. Reusable glass jars and plastic lids with paper inlays. We put the jar on the scales and then 500 grams of honey into each one. So, waiting for the last drip and then one after the other. So the tank is nearly empty. As you see, 
The stand can be tilted to let the last of the honey run out. The honey is not running so quickly now. So, and now the honey is in the jars. It will take a few days for the honey to crystallize and then the labels can be stuck on. After a few days, the color of the honey has changed and it has set. On the lids of these German beekeepers jars is a hexagon which lines up with the labels. The labels have a water-based adhesive on the back, a moment in water and then onto the jar so that the label is at the front and the emblem in the glass is at the back. And now two rubber stamps, the best before date, and a K for set or creamed honey. In German, this is candiert. Now the honey is in the jar and we are done. Bis bald, fiert euch! Ja, na, dann, ähm, was, was machen wir dann als nächstes? Was? Den nächsten Film. <lacht>